Less than 50 days, Nigerians across the 36 states and federal capital territory will file out to elect leaders at various levels of government. Bamindele Ajayi evaluates the political participation consciousness of people of the Southeast and what would be the psychological effect on the frequency of attacks on INEC facilities in the region. 50 days to the 2023 general election, the atmosphere is getting charged up for the once in four years general election. Political actors from different political parties are busy crisscrossing the length and breadth of the country to pass their messages in a unique manner that will end them, people's trust, to be elected in next year's polls. The Independent National Electoral Commission, being the electoral umpire, is not also leaving any stone unturned to ensure candidates with the highest vote cast in the election carry the day. A position many are apprehensive about, considering the daily attacks of INA facilities and killing of some politicians across the country. INEC on its own recently came up with a position claiming it has recorded about 50 different attacks on its facilities in four years. After the 50 attacks, South is alone recorded 26 attacks from a position which is not far fed from the continuous push by a section of the agitating group insisting that no election will hold in the sub region. According to INEC data, Imo State had the highest number of attacks with 11 incidents, followed by Osho 7. Akwa Ibom 5, Enugu 5, Ebonyi 4, Cross River 4, Abia 4, Anambra 2, Taraba 2, Bruno 1, Ogun 1, Lagos 1, Bayesa 1, Ondo 1, and Kaduna 1. The breakdown shows that in 2019, INEC recorded 8 attacks, 22 in 2020, 12 in 2021, and 8 in 2022. 20 of these attacks were described as arson, 26 vandalism, Y4 were said to have been arson and vandalism. 20 of the attacks were allegedly perpetrated by unknown gunmen. 18 were triggered by the NSAS protests. Several of the attacks were carried out by talks during election, four resulted from the post-election violence. One was carried out by bandits, while another was by Boko Haram. After the 50 attacks, South is alone recorded 26 attacks from a position which is not far fed from the continuous push by a section of the agitating group insisting that no election will hold in the sub region. South is governor's sorrow, Igbo stakeholders, and the Igbo leading social cultural group, or at least Igbo worldwide, have made several efforts to ensure the spread of killing and attacks on government facilities are abated. Many of the view that the attacks are not contained. It may encourage photo party where people will be afraid to participate in the exercise. If you know that you're going to come and vote peacefully and go, you will come out. But if you know that you're under the threat of being shot or even running or your blood pressure can spike up, you may not dare to come out. No doubt, the political participation consciousness in the region is now awakened more than before. But apprehensions are hanging in the balance, leaving people in authority to read in between the lines to ensure voter confidence are restored. A situation where you have like non-state actors imposing sit down at home on Mondays and even sometimes for as many days as they would like to. We are concerned that if this is not nipped from the board, these actors could actually leverage on the existing template to influence or to hamper on, you know, on, on, on the desire of the people to come out to exercise their right. Expectations are high in the Southeast, there's no doubt. Despite the insecurity challenges, the people, especially the youth, they are exceptionally ready to participate in this next year's election. They are calling on government of all tiers to ensure that they put appropriate measures in place to checkmate the insecurity. Bamidelia Jai, TVC News, Enugu.